Hi everyone, welcome to our third streaming. I'm Karen Hernandez, I'm community manager here in Mercury Steam, and I'm with my ally, Hernan as well. <laughs> your ally, you're right. Yes. Yeah, I am, I am her ally. My name is Hernan, you may remember me from the first Steam uh, streaming that we did, but uh, I also go by the name of MSE OUEL. On you can see you can uh, see me uh, wandering the official forums and also in the unofficial Discord and some other platforms that we have. So yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's right. So as you guys know, today we are going to speak about Soma. She's one of the most anticipated characters for Space Lords, and she's going to be released on July 16th. That's right. Next week we will be Turn able right. to try her. So yeah, uh, this is the time to show how she looks in game. But uh, yeah. But yeah, we have like a special surprise for you guys. Someone's yes. here with us today. Mm -hmm. Who is it? <laughs> yes, she's Stephanie Justin. Hi, Stephanie. Hey. Hello. Hi, how, how are you, are you doing? doing? I'm so happy to join today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. We are so happy to have you here as well. And I'm sure everyone in the stream is so excited to, to have you here as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so happy. I'm I'm really excited to share Soma with everyone. I think a lot of people have been looking forward to her very much. Yes, mm. that's right. That's totally true. <laughs> everyone is super excited about Soma. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Stephanie, if that's okay with you, uh, as you guys know, we have uh, told you to share your questions on Twitter and Facebook for Stephanie. So yeah, I'm starting uh, with Cobra Ninja. Who asked? Uh, what was your favorite line to say as Soma? Oh, uh, wow. Um, I uh, love uh, all of Soma's lines that mention uh, the great red worm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, probably you don't know what I'm talking about until you play the game, but, um, like, for instance, she would say, like, uh, it is the great red worm's will that we have survived. And um, she, just like that, she keeps mentioning uh, her... Um, well, uh, Feb, the Great Red Worm. <laughs> so it's very telling of uh, the faithfulness she has to the cult she grew up in. Mm. And it's a very typical thing for Soma as a character. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. So that's, cool. Yeah, we cool. saw the videos and also in game. Well, guys, you, you're going to love uh, her lines. So yeah, uh, next Question, um, Spacelers with a set, uh, he asked, how was the experience working with Mercury's team? Oh, it was great. Well, everyone at Mercury's team is so talented and I think it's, um, Mercury's team has such a unique style and it was just so lovely working with such talented people and being part of something so wonderful as Soma. I um, I can tell you everyone enjoyed your visit and yeah mm. we were so happy to to have you here to work with you uh, I think it was a a great experience so yeah uh, we yeah, agree thank you thank you to you <laughs> for your compliments <laughs> yes so Vixia asked uh, what was some of the bloopers during voice acting that made you laugh the most um I don't think we ran into some actual bloopers mm -hmm. during recording, um, but there were a lot of funny moments. Um, Space Lords being an action game and uh, Soma very much being uh, a character in action. There was so much <laughs> um, of action dialogue. Well, it's not even dialogue, it's just like sound effects that you're making. Um, it, it's just so, it's such a typical thing for um, recording all these sound effects like there's so many patterns of what can happen like what can mm -hmm. happen to your character so uh, all the ways in which you can get hurt um, like like I would get like directions of the ways like okay now um, you're just uh, getting a bullet like uh, hit you and <laughs> well, it's it's not it's not a big deal and like you can take it so you'll have to start small and be like kind of like <clears throat> you know like you can still fight you can go on and then it gets bigger and bigger and more dramatic so it'll start to like really hurt and it's be like ah and you're making all these crazy <laughs> sounds and it gets more dramatic until it's like a fatal blow and you're like <clears throat> and then you're just constantly like suffering in the recording booth and it's just so <laughs> 
funny. It's, it's like a thing um, people don't often talk about, but I, I mm. think it's like moments like that are the funniest thing about recording. Yeah. yeah, that's right, because you have to record like dozens of those. And yes, th what you so said, many it's, patterns. It's right, right? Not, not so many people think about it when they think about mm -hmm. voice dubbing. That's to totally, totally true. Yes, that's right. It has to be so challenging, <laughs> we are sure. <laughs> so, is, um, next question is from Quan Chu. Uh, he asked, how much additional creative input you added to the character Soma? Were there any other lines you added that wasn't in the script? Hmm. Well, I, um, the character was pretty well, well rounded and well written already, so I didn't get to add um, much content-wise. Um, but I did get some input on uh, stuff like Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. So there are some lines that are, I'm probably like not easy to find. Um, so I don't want to give too much away from the. I think it's it's up to the players to find the Easter eggs. Yeah. And Totally yeah, right. <laughs> so we'll keep it a secret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just between the three of us. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go with William Escobar, um, who asks, how's the role of a fully playable character in this game is different compared to some of your past game roles? Well, playing a playable character is pretty different indeed. Um, up until now, I think I've only played non-playable character characters or characters that um, might be like, like partially playable mm -hmm. but um, yeah mostly when you're voicing a non-playable character um, the dialogue is much more passive and uh, it's a lot of fun how how much you can add to a character by voicing a playable character there's just so much variation to all the lines and <laughs> it's just so much more lines as well mm -hmm. and um, it's just really cool. It adds so much character to to a character that that like everything she has to say in action and um, how it changes depending on the player's play style. So yeah, it's it it gets much more deep layered. Yeah, yeah so cool. So um, finally, um, Night Raven asks: uh, Is there any advice you can give to any other actor actresses? Oh, um, well, there's so many styles of voice acting nowadays. Um, I think it's just um, best to just focus on being an actor. And um, yeah, there's so much overlapping into film and motion capture and voice actors nowadays. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, just I would recommend taking acting classes and um, or uh, improv classes can help a lot. Um, to it can really help you um, develop a more like um, deepness for a character or give your um, bring your own personal input in, into a character. Yeah, we're sure uh, your character. Everyone is going to love your your character, and uh, everyone is going to appreciate your your advices as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Stephanie, thank you so much for answering all these questions uh, everyone is super excited about soma and we are so happy to have the opportunity to have you here it's my pleasure <laughs> i'm just so happy to be part of it thank you so thank much you so stephanie much. take good care yeah thank you too bye bye see ya Uh, yeah, that was intense. We, as as we said, we are so happy to to have Stephanie here. We hope you guys uh, like this experience. Uh, I mean, it's it's amazing. I'm nervous. I, I don't know. I'm <laughs> still processing. You're such a fan. Of yes, course. I'm a huge fan. Um, yes, yeah, sure. Um, now uh, that uh, we have the game, yeah, the game right. is now ready. We have the game running now. Our intention is to show you how, is, uh, how Soma looks in game, but first we have another surprise for you since we are going to see Soma's. Yes. Can I say that thing, that, that world exclusive thing? <laughs> because it's like a world exclusive, right? Yeah, that's it's the right. first time ever. So, yeah, yeah, this is like the E3. So, yeah, guys, uh, let's see Soma's official trailer. Let's go. Let's go for it. Pain. 
so much anguish and suffering. You do not have to endure it anymore. I am here to embrace it all. I'm so hyped right now. Um, I guess you guys are hyped as well. So um, yeah, let us know in the chat, by the way, yes. your first impressions on the what trailer. What do you think? We can comment the trailer as well because you know uh, it's so impressive to see to see her again in this new context. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and also like seeing her adapted to the visual style of the you know the space lords uh, yeah. aesthetic. It's kind of like a, like a, like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know how to say it in English though, like a, I don't know, like exciting, I guess. <laughs> it's like a, sorry, sorry, I was, I was thinking in Spanish don't expressions worry. and they really do not work in English. Okay, so. someone, uh, Sandlord is asking, what is that cup? What is that cup? Which cup? <laughs> you mean like my tea it's cup? It's a huge cup. It's a huge cup but of tea. But <laughs> my cup is even better. I don't know if you guys can read it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> So yeah, th those were our cups. So, the so the thing is work. that we have. Do we have the game running already? Can everybody see us right now? Yes, yeah? uh, I think we have it. Yeah, I think everyone can see now the the game. Does everybody can see the game, right? Okay, <laughs> just Perfect. making sure. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> just in okay. case. So this is Soma over here, mm -hmm. and that's that's definitely her. That's her in-game model, and yeah, let me I check it out. I love her movements. I used to practice. Uh, Kung Fu Shaolin and it's very similar you know this uh, yeah you used to practice Kung Fu Shaolin yes really yeah <laughs> how long ago though yeah uh, a couple of years yeah wow yeah. this is scary please don't kick I my ass I want to come back someday so yeah I, I feel like Soma sometimes so you feel like her so I hope you don't because she takes a lot of pain you remember guys yeah. as I was telling you so yeah, Karen, could you please yeah, take sure. uh, just like I don't know, like uh, shuffle through the models and such, yeah. as I, I, uh, I want to say just a little some words as, as some kind of reminder of of the Soma lore because maybe some of you guys did, uh, missed the first stream or don't know uh, that much about her. Let's remember her name is Soma, but she is part of the Algia grid. You know, the Algia grid is like a big, uh, like a small, sorry, like a small matriarchal. Uh, Crete and they they gather and they live in the region of Cydonia and Mars and they have this belief that the sands of the planet you know like somehow oh, they okay. grant us some power oh yeah yeah let's play let's um yeah. you could you could you choose like this one over here like low low yeah this one uh, no reservation is the name yeah sorry I have all the names mixed up <laughs> so yeah the thing about her is that they the algae they are uh, basically like pain priestess okay they take pain from other people yeah. and they, they do not take sides on the wars or the conflicts they are just like absorbing pain for people without judging them so they are kind of like uh, martyrs in a way and they are all for helping people and they have like this strict crit mm -hmm. so uh, Soma gets sent to the uh, broken planet and she's one of the youngest members of the crit it's That's like right. her powers are not 100% developed yet, but she's like a really uh, promising young girl. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that, uh, as you will see, she has like this uh, kind of, she looks kind of like a witch, you said last time, mm -hmm. and I yes. totally agree. Yes. She's kind of like uh, some witchy kind of design. With this witch witchcraft for with like. The, yeah, for with a the a magic book and yes. the. Uh, and the, uh, the vial of The sand. vial, that's right. Mm. So actually, we will be showcasing now, like, uh, and again, can I say, like, world exclusive. This is again a world exclusive. <laughs> you love <right>? that expression. <laughs> yeah, because I, I see it every time, and I yeah. am always like, oh, I wish, I wish I could say All that. That's why we left. I wish I could say that. Yeah. So we will be trying, 
like her uh, uh, first weapon that there's available for her. It's actually called the last vial. Yes. You know, you have it over here, and and we will be showcasing how it works. And also, uh, uh, one of the talents that we chose for you to show you uh, for 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 us to show to you today. Can you, can you skip the cutscene, please? You know, yeah, sure. the leader of the Umber so, is General and According to Alicia, yeah, the thing is that uh, they are they are all about uh, really strong beliefs, but there isn't like no factual or scientific evidence that the uh, their belief is actually true. Because what they believe, as Stephanie said before, that there's some kind of entity named Feb, mm -hmm. like a great with worms that somehow lives within the sands of Mars that grant the uh, Algia Priestess all their powers. So, uh, how this translates into the game, so here are our, our always reliable friends, Louis Huey and Louis, the Cortez family, as you may already know them. So, that's the thing. So, let's showcase her ability first. So, here Karen is playing, and she, you know, just with a single click of the button, she can activate these shields on each one of them, you know, even, even uh, from a distance, you know. So as she keeps activating the shields, as you can see in the central piece of HUD, there's like these uh, little, you know, like circles that keep appearing. That's the name, uh, the number of the uh, simultaneous shields that she has activated. So as, as these uh, quartet guys keep uh, receiving their damage, the thing is that each one of the shields has a, a certain amount of uh, health points, and the thing is that the shields protect them. So as as they receive damage, even though they don't take the damage because the shield is protecting them, the thing is that Karen here will be filling up the uh, what we paint the what we call the pain bar, which is this circular pain in the middle of the screen. So as as Karen here keeps uh, raising the pain bar, you know, at the same time as the Cortez guys keep receiving uh, damage she can get like a buff to her weapons stats you know so you know that the different colors of the shield by the way is, is uh, like how uh, how many health points there is like a representation of the health points that the shield has left so as the shield keeps uh, you know changing its color is like it's closer to being uh, broken so right now Karen if you can like uh, uh, cancel all the shields by holding the uh, special ability button then as you can see here you see like there's now like a like a multiplier like 1.2 that this is like a buff for the uh, weapons damage and now if when current shoots if there's like a visual representation as you can see now the the explosions and the projectiles aren't red anymore mm -hmm. like the Santa Mars but more like a uh, like a buff version of of the of the thing so as long as you have uh, some uh, some buff uh, going on with this bar, you know, it, it will remain like that. It, it, it will remain, uh, you know, with this kind of uh, orangey color thing. So the cool thing about the pain bar is that it only diminishes uh, uh, when you are uh, performing actual damage. So the whole thing is like you take pain from other people yeah. by protecting them, but then you Unless you deal that pain in some other people, you you won't lose your pain bar. You won't empty it. So that's cool because if you, you know, since for instance this this uh, basic weapon, it's not like it has like a lot of um, accuracy. So you really don't have to care. You, you don't have to worry about you know projectiles hitting uh, the enemies or not when it comes to the buff. The buff will just apply and whenever you hit someone and with uh, the pain bar will, will only decrease whenever you, you hit someone if you fail or your or your projectiles because whatever happens you make a mistake it's you know there's no penalty for that you will retain the buff you know for the next shot so yeah that's that's mainly the basic thing about it and if Karen here uh, uh, makes a mistake and keeps uh, you know like uh, invoking the shields on Cortez guys and the pain uh, meter goes all up to the uh, to the maximum what happens is that uh, we can try that yeah we can try to do it yeah because like, but the, these Cortez guys are extremely deadly though <laughs> <laughs> so I don't Come know on, guys you I, can die <laughs> yeah just die yeah <laughs> so but yeah I, I mean in the long run they will actually die I guess so 
So the thing is that uh, as the shields keep receiving pain and the pain bar keeps filling up, mm -hmm. you have to be careful because if it fills up to the maximum, it's like uh, it's like Soma can take it anymore and she gets devoured by the, all the pain she absorbed. It's kind of like a tragical ending, but so yeah. Uh, yeah, can you can you spawn like more shields on the quartet guys because you have like a single one oh, going I have on? Those two, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a third quartet guy, Where right? Is Where it? is he? Uh, ah, that, that's that's one on the right, on the right there. Oh yeah, you have it there. Oh, he is has their shield already. No, but there's another one. Yeah, oh. this guy. Do you? That's do you, right? Don't escape from me. <laughs> they are they Yo, are running bro, away bro. from you. Okay, it's, so, yeah, it's filling. Uh, yeah, as you can uh, guys see, you can see the people you are protecting with the shields, you can see them through the walls so that you, just in case you are like uh, like a bit confused, like who oh. I was protecting. Oh, that's, sorry, sorry I interrupted myself, that's the thing. If Karen, is, Karen wasn't uh, as careful as she could have been, so she died because of that. So the thing is that you keep, you know, like putting shields here and there, and uh, and you have to be careful now. If you could please show us like the uh, um, like the talents that we have equipped, I think it's like, are we in okay. console, right? Okay, is it? Uh, sorry. 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 Is this it? is a bit complicated. <laughs> so that's the thing. We have like the basic improved uh, healing, uh, umbra war dog talent, but we also have this one, this card equipped here. It's fanatism. So what this over here does is that you know your, your protected allies they do not only have a shield but they also have like a damage buff mm -hmm. and that's a cool thing about her talents is like they keep modifying like uh, small bits of the rules that are being applied you know while you're playing with Soma so if you let me we'll be uh, we'll leave this uh, sorry I have to we have to surrender we have to make it right mm -hmm. I have to give an example <laughs> <laughs> right Very so good. Uh, so that's the thing. If you are okay with it, we will yeah, showcase sure. just a little bit of the other uh, two weapons that you can unlock for her. Mm. And then afterwards we can take, or maybe before that, we can take like um, a little closer look to the Can I read a talents. question for you? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep them coming. Yeah. So Mr. Potato says again, does the teammate have to be online of site or can i put them on through walls yeah the thing is that the teammates they do have to be in line of sight mm -hmm. uh but you can you can spawn the shields at a very uh far distance right now it's you know uh, approximately like 40 meters meters or so so you have to it's like you cannot totally ignore like your allies position mm -hmm. because you have to see them but you know, as you already know, some of the levels are, it will be way easier. Some of them will be way more complicated, you know, when there are like uh, different uh, like walls and, and different things that occlude your region, it will be a bit more complicated. But that's part of, yeah. the, of the whole gameplay that you have to take care of. So uh, Provolon and Ranger is asking, can we see that weapon skin? Can we are show <laughs> you, showing you uh, uh, weapons and weapons uh, skins uh, after this match, for example. Okay. So you guys can see all all Soma stuff. So. And emotes too. Emotes, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. All, That's all for the end yeah, because forgot. we want to laugh a little bit. <laughs> we forgot about the emotes. Sorry. Yeah. No, we can. Well, we can do it. Uh, yeah, here or in game. Yeah. Whatever well, you prefer. Both of them are fine yeah. for us. The thing is th that as soon as I start speaking about weapons and abilities, I totally forget about them. Sorry, guys. So yeah, we're here. We're back. So, the shall we go to the weapon skin now or later? Or how how we do this, Karen? <laughs> uh, should the weapons first, and then you. Oh, put right. the, the, that's right. You know. That's totally right. So here are like our because weapons. Because they are so beautiful, you guys have to see them like close up. Yeah, this is the one that we played with. It's called the Last Vial, mm -hmm. and as you can see, the, it has like. A, you know, like a little bit of this, uh, there's actually like an actual bile of sun inside yeah. of it. So it's like they are uh, kind of still applying these beliefs that they have with the whole red sun things to their own technology. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like uh, like some sort of witchcrafty blessed weapons or something it. like that. <laughs> That's the last bile. The second one we'll be showcasing to you guys. It's Redeemer. It's another common one. 
and it's Redeemer. Wow. It's this one over here. You can see the pattern with the, the red worm on it. The tattoo, I love it. Yeah, it's it's it resembles her yes. uh, tattoo on the back. That's totally right. And you can also see like this other kind of violet thing here. Mm -hmm. You know, like they, they, they always use uh, the same uh, motifs for their uh, weapons. And the third one we will be showcasing, it's that's Catharsis. Yes. And this is more wow. like a it is like another really different thing yes <laughs> as you can see it's when you get serious you, yeah you get things are getting serious here you know kind of reminds I mean. me of uh something constantly constantine would like right <laughs> it's it kind of <laughs> resembles like a gadling or something <laughs> like that right it's way more scary so yeah uh are we sh should i showcase the second one then right yes sure so let's go for it so uh so uh, give me a minute because I have so many stuff written that I don't want to miss. Don't worry, you have it here. Oh yeah, we are showcasing now Redeemer. Are we? Yes, we are. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we are doing it. Uh, yeah, because here. we Kiss are trying signs, another okay. map, so uh, we want to show you the weapons in the base map. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're just uh, trying to show you uh, the weapons in some maps that we can, you know, like easily display their features. Yep. So. There are, are there like more questions or requests? Ah, sure. I can totally write them down. Benji Walla. Hi, Benji. Hey, Benji. Uh, how he are wants you? to see the cards. We are going to show the all the cards uh, also. And G GR Gamer 3000 says the veil contains ah, blood. The veil contains the blood. It's definitely not blood, but more. The veins in the skin? Uh, I'm not the sure. Veins in the skins or veils or, or veins? Veils. It was veils, veils yeah. right? Yeah, I think Sorry. he was referring to the uh, to so. the weapon thing, right? Yes. I think so. So yeah, it's not definitely not blood, but uh, you know, like re it's red sand uh, taken I mean, from the mobs. one in the in the weapon you used uh, before. It's, I'm not sure. It's still like everything they do, or they believe they can do with their special abilities and and. And the way they link their pain absorbent absorption uh, uh, magic, you mm -hmm. know, with the weapons, everything is linked somehow to the red sands of Mars. So everything is more like sand. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I have to change loadout here. So we'll be showcasing this one, this one over here, Redeemer. And I also kept a lot uh, another talent. This is passion. And yeah, let's get into the match and we'll uh, read the description for the... Uh, okay, meanwhile, I'm reading Claude's sure. um, question. Does the tattoo on her back only appear if Soma has other players shielded? Mm, that's totally true. You totally figured that one out, yeah. You guys are so clever. <laughs> you are, yeah, yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> so yeah, the thing is that uh, it's like her back is like totally bare unless you start putting shields on it. As you... You, you, you remember if you when you are putting shields into your allies, you are already invoking the red, uh, the great red worm's power mm -hmm. because you're absorbing their pain. So that's how the worm somehow manifests into her. Mm -hmm. It's not like you can see an actual worm. Nobody knows whether it actually exists, mm -hmm. but somehow the algae can feel it like that. And actually, the worm, you know, if you look at her back, that's the presence of the red worm here. And actually, when my allies start taking damage and I start feeling my pain bar, which hopefully happens soon <laughs> enough, because this... Uh, under, ah, that's it. You know, when I am applying my buff, when I am saying, okay, I'm not shielding you guys anymore, let me apply my buff. Yeah. Then it's like it comes to life, you know? So cool. Because it's like the pain is now definitely inside you. You're, you're uh, like... Uh, putting it into your enemies through the, your magical weapons, you know, that's the whole theme around here. So this is Redeemer, by the way. What's Redeemer about? Okay, Redeemer is a really special kind of weapon. Let me look for my uh, engineer consoles or terminals here, <laughs> because they are extremely useful for instances like this. So what's Redeemer about? You see all these little balls uh, that are beneath the main crosshair. So these ones over here are the amount of uh, like uh, damage areas that I can plant over here. So I can do like this, I can say, okay, there's a damage area over there and I still have, you know, like four of them left. So I can, you know, in a mission like this, I can totally search for the different terminals that are mm -hmm. scattered around here. I'm not finding them, damn it, sorry. They, they are totally here. You can put one uh, up there 
like we're the engineer ah yeah also in the doors and such yes right? so, so you just you know keep putting here of course you can on the same fashion you can do just like this and you yeah. know when enemies take cover or maybe snipers and there's also like another behavior to this weapon so in, if instead of hitting the scenario you hit directly to your enemy it doesn't create an actual an actual um how do you say like a damage area but just like a single shot thing mm -hmm. and you also keep your all damage areas like that it's like it doesn't count so i can you know have like several damage areas planted like that and then if i plant more of this you know the old ones uh, at the end they just vanish but if instead of planting them i do like clean shots you know uh, against my enemies is like they shouldn't be disappearing so that's the thing what happens when you use the, the last one uh when you, well the thing is that yeah sorry let me showcase it for you i hope i don't get killed so the thing is that once I, I shoot the last one, there are just like five of them, is that the old ones kept disappearing. But the, the cool thing about it is that if I just don't shoot the last one, or if I just keep shooting the enemies directly, I can leave them there like forever. They don't have like a time limit, mm -hmm. you know, it's like oh, okay. forever. But cool. the thing is that both the AI or the antagonist can break them if they shoot at the core. Mm -hmm. But me, I. I cannot break it. If I want to change it, I just have to shoot, you know, like somewhere else. So you can already, guys, you can already guess that there's like a lot of uh, uses for a Redeemer. Yeah. And let me take a short look to the uh, to the talent that I have equipped uh, here, Passion. So this is another kind of, of, of buff. This one's depending on the charge of, of the pain bar. Sorry, guys, I, I really don't want to get killed while I'm on the menus, but... <laughs> So that's like, for instance, like my movement speed decreases up to blah, 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 depending on the charge of my pain bar. So that's the thing. This, this talent is more about, you know, playing with, uh, with uh, you know, being risky because you have to maximize your pain bar so you can have like an extra buff. Yep. This time is not a buff to my damage, but, you know, to my movement speed. Since I am a war dog, you know, extra movement is always great. When you're playing as a world. Mm, so, Profilon so, Ranger is asking: um, Will the skins change her sand color? Skins change her <laughs> sand color. Like you mean, like skins for the uh, for the character? You mean mm -hmm. the skins for some are really cool, but I think I, we're not allowed to show them <laughs> exactly. yet. Exactly. But no, the, the, you know, the whole sand thing is mainly red because they are from Mars. You know. Yeah. But. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some weird trend. So maybe some new trend comes to Mars and they st they start changing the sand color or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I, I don't I don't think so. So uh, Blue Panther is yeah. asking what level will be required to unlock her. Ah, we can see in I, the yeah. Well, no, I we cannot because we already have her right. I I have some stuff written, but not this one. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe. Could could we ask some some could we ask Juan about it or maybe Bella like what what's the level for unlocking her Let me write it down here so I don't forget about it. So yeah, meanwhile, um, yeah. Adi two five three question with faction point gain uh, being reduced, would it be possible to reward the way we get cards? As in late game, it feels like I'm being banished for experimenting with cards. Yeah, the, the whole card uh, system that we have in the game right now, uh, as we told you, you know, uh, you know, in th through different uh, channels, but maybe you, um, you know, uh, you didn't, uh, we didn't tell you explicitly. It's like we will be reworking the system, the card system, but since it's not like an imminent change, we'd rather not still not speak about it. You know, mm -hmm. we are always guys like showcasing you stuff that you'll be able to get, you know, to play soon. So it's not. Uh, so that's definitely something we'll be doing sometime, but not imminently. So, uh, you know, as for the moment, uh, you will still have to form the same, uh, you know, like talent points and just keep spending them as, as with the system, with the current system. So I wouldn't recommend like saving your points for a future update. You know, whenever some system of the game gets updated, we will be telling you, you know, right before. So don't worry about it. 
Okay, so a uh, Dutch warrior. How much does she cost? Uh, she's going to be just like the like yeah. all the characters. Uh, it's uh, one. Mm. Yeah, it's like one hundred eighty k, right? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, one hundred eighty k, right? Yes, that's right. Am I right? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I, uh, for a while, for a moment, I was like, sorry, what? You were like dreaming about Whatever. the witchcraft. And I'm the one uh, answering uh, those kind of questions on social media. So <laughs> yeah, 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 you're the expert. That's why I was doubting Sorry, right now. It's, it's so, so hot in here. Yeah, it's I, because of the climate. Oh, so level. yeah, I don't know who was asking about it, but someone asked at which level does Soma get unlocked? Uh, 52. So it's level 52 for you guys. Yep. So we will now be show showcasing a catharsis. That's the one. And yeah, we'll uh, be doing in shock is really cool. Yeah, really so like Jay Kosinski, uh, she's gonna have a steam pack for whatever. Yeah, she's going to be a deluxe character pack. Hmm. Uh, you guys uh, will be able to purchase it when she, she, um, when she releases. Yeah, cool. So uh, we are going to try now the the third weapon. I did the rare one. Yeah, that's that's a rare one, the and this is called catharsis, catharsis, right? That's that's, that's right. <laughs> catharsis. So catharsis is that really intimidating weapon that we saw before, that kind of looks like something constant that we would probably enjoy using. Mm -hmm. So this is a really uh, uh, complex one. Yes. So yeah, I'll be I'll be showing you some of the charms of it, just as soon as we get into a match. Cool. So as soon as we um, end with the catharsis weapon, we are going to show you some things. We haven't visited the, the universe uh, section. We can see some of the, the entries. Oh, yeah, right. yeah? yeah, that's true. Uh, yes, I and if you guys want it, to right. see something in concrete or specifically, we can show you as well. And then what more? Yeah, the cards and emotes, of course. We want to, you know, just laugh. A little bit. Right. But that's after we try Redeemer though. Yes. This I thought oh, Catharsis Redeemer were where they tried, sorry. I love the name. Catharsis, you we love the name, yeah. It's like a cathartic kind of weapon, definitely. I so could change my name to Catharsis with a K. Of, instead of color and current Tharsis. Sounds like something Whatever. <laughs> that would work on Game of Thrones, current Tharsis, something like that. Well <laughs> like Matter of Dragons or something. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, sorry, I'm saying dumb stuff. So yeah, no, uh, don't worry. <laughs> I mean with dumb. <laughs> so yeah, let's try this cathartic weapon. Yes. Do you, do you need something? No, I'm fine. I I I wanted to ask something, but if people don't ask about it, then I don't have to know about it. But I just thought about it. So let's see that's, uh, that's what the people big say. Guy here. Sorry, sorry, were you saying something? Uh, um, I want to know what people say, ah, say about this on one. the chat. Yeah. We need questions, we need things. So yeah, I have my catharsis weapon here and this is, this is a really big guy. The thing about catharsis is everything uh, uh, revolves around the, uh, the two uh, fire modes that it has. You know, there's like your standard kind of fire mode. This is, you know, just like... Uh, uh, automatic kind of gun. It's the uh, accuracy is pretty high, by the way. It's not like he has like a, a recoil or something like that. But the thing is, as as you can see, it's not like the damage is really not as intimidating as the weapon looks. And also, you know the uh, the how do you say cadence? Can you say cadence in English? I, I think so. Why? The fire rate. Sorry, the fire rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting killed, but I'm just. You know, like into letting the the guys see, you know, how it how it shoots and such, how it feels. So, but the thing is, this is kind of like a, not like a really powerful weapon. But when I change the fire mode and instead of damage, I change it into a, the secondary kind of a fire mode. When I when I shoot like this, if you can see, I'm performing zero damage right now. But I filled this bar over here in the middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. So if I go back to damage, now, whoa, everything's looking more scary, whoa. right? Now it, everything's starting to make sense, right? Yes. So now with my bar filled up, whoa, whoa, this whoa, whoa, feels whoa. like a really, you know, like uh, agile version of somewhat like a Gatling gun. 
you know like the yes. fire rate the fire rate and the damage goes up uh, sorry not the damage but the fire rate and then it goes back to the initial mode the basic mode just like that mm -hmm. so the thing is that now with this weapon you have like two layers of complexity over here one comes from the same buff that I can totally get by using my special ability just like in the other cases so if I go back to my family guys here the Kurtev guys here and I activate all the shields just like that and I and they get some damage come on guys get killed or something get some damage. they don't get damage they are way too good come on they don't want to lose they definitely don't want to lose the match but yeah well the thing is that if I switch off all my shields like that then as you can totally guess I have my buff my damage buff I really want to have more buff though this is not a great buff like 1.1 Oh, come on, don't be so good. <laughs> Why are you guys so good? Oh, yeah, meanwhile, yeah. Um, I'm reading a few questions. Ivan and Ivan Hambier, sorry. I'm so hyped for this. Thank you for doing the stream, guys. No, thank you for Aww. watching. We <laughs> yeah, are thank you so, so much happy. for being here. You guys with us. are a lot, and yeah, we are enjoying this uh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, let me let me just finish the, my cathartic uh, session here. So now, as you can see, I have my buff, but my, you know, my my cathartic bar is kind of low. So I'll change mode. I'll just, you know, pinpoint this guy here. Yeah, I'm just like <laughs> really bad playing with gamepad. Sorry, I'm uh, more like a mouse and keyboard guy. Me too. You saw earlier. I was <laughs> like, are you uh, yeah. the cars? We look like I was we're like, really bad players. How do I do with we're the not PS4 that bad. controller? Sorry. So now it's like I have like these damage buff, and that's summed with you know the extra fire rate. So now I'm really deadly. You know, as you can see, this is a whole different story. Even Constantine would be shaking right now. Yeah. You know, even Constantine fears this. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's it's chill, that's the main man. Thing. Chill. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the main concept behind it. So let's go back. Let's surrender again. Let's go back so that we can check like the universe section. So question and for the you, emotes and such. Ernan. Yeah. Uh, could I put uh, Mr. Potato? Oh Potato my God, again. he's so active on the streaming. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, could I put a shield on Unis mind control at a a AI, sorry. Uh, I believe in the past you said yes, but I'm curious about any changes from concept to gameplay. There have actually been quite some changes when it comes to which uh, allies can you put your shields on. And actually, if I don't know if you guys want the details, if if someone in the back could get it for me, I, I can mean? like uh, Luis me. The, she has she has like a list of it. So. If people want the details, I can totally give them. But it's like a really long list of, of things that you can, uh, then you can put the uh, the shield on. Okay. If you can get it for me, guys, es la lista de cosas donde se puede poner escudo. ¿no? So that's the thing. But yeah, many, many, many uh, entities can have a shield. I think from the last time that I that we spoke with you guys, that we some of the uh, entities that we told you are really not shieldable. Mm -hmm. At the end, they they became shieldable. So when it comes to Yunez, uh, uh, you know, uh, bewitched grunt, mm -hmm. you can totally shield that grunt. Yeah, but I'm, as soon as I get a detailed list, maybe I can read it down for you because instead yeah. of you having to ask like 20 times, what about beholders? What about, you know, like miners? What about, I'll just get the list for you. And when we have it ready, we'll just let you know, okay? Okay, while well, Nacho is asking the team, uh, Whisper says, uh, what about self-damage? Uh, you mean about somehow when she's using the... Self-damage. Uh, maybe she's ask, uh, he or she's asking about the... Uh, when Loath performs like self-damage to him or something like uh, that? Ah, when you, you shoot? Maybe something like I that. I was thinking about the, the when you feel the bar. Uh, uh, I'm not uh, sure. Well, the thing is that uh, with the current states of... Uh, the weapons of uh, Soma that we showcase today, there's no way that you can self-damage yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not like load like a, you know, no grenade launcher. If I shoot, you know, in the ground, in the ground, I just don't take damage. So, but if you were asking more about load, like what happens when if he, if I shield a load ally, yeah, what happens with the with uh, his or her mechanic 
of uh, taking pain so mm -hmm. uh, loath can transform yes. into the beast. Well, the thing is that if I, sh let's say again, you're my ally because you are, you definitely are. I am. So, but you are loath. Sorry, I'm sorry. Whoa, uh, we are so similar. We are yeah, you clearly really look twins. alike. Yeah. So if I put a shield on you and you start damaging yourself, the thing mm -hmm. is that the shield will take all the damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, so I will fill up my pain bar because I'm soma. But you, being loath, won't fill up your, uh, you know, your uh, uh, transforming bar or monster yes. bar. How how are we calling okay, it? Okay, okay. So be, uh, until you break the shield, so it's not a yeah. way that you can help your loath allies. You know, your allies playing loath. You cannot help them raise their uh, bar without taking actual damage. No, they have to take damage. Actually. They, you will be just protecting them yep. and, and filling your bar but not his or her bar. That's cool. how it works. So Adol on TV, what happens when you shield someone and they get sapped by the beholder? Yeah, that's the thing. There are some uh, special cases that we have here. Like for instance, when uh, someone gets shot by the beholder, since it's like a, like a one kill shot, it's like the no matter how the shield in which state it was, whether it was like with the maximum amount of health bar or the, 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 the yeah the, the the different colors the that red. we saw the blue the, yeah. the more reddish one it really doesn't matter like your ally was, will still get killed and the thing with uh, with uh, beholder shots if I have this uh, right here it, you just won't take any pain from that mm -hmm. and there are some other unusual cases like what if someone uh, like gets like a melee hit. Mm -hmm. So in this kind of uh, cases, if you get melee hit, there's like a special kind of... Uh, oh, okay. we have some info here. Let's save it for later though. You have like a special kind of uh, reaction because if you are shielding someone and the shield is like 50 health points, you know, at the beginning, if you are not using any special kind of talent, you know, with mm -hmm. just with basic talents, just like that, like 50 health points, then if if your ally takes like a, like a strike, you know, like a melee strike or something. Uh, the thing is that the shield will instantly break, you know, like melee, like instantly breaks all the, uh, all whatever shield that, that she or me or he may have on. But the thing is that it will only deal like 10, 10 health points of damage. It's not like, it's like a, it's like a different kind of rule when it comes to melee, you know. And, and, and special shootings like Beholder kind of have like different uh, like subsets of rules. Okay. So yeah, that's the thing. We got a list ready, right? Mm -hmm. This list is about uh, who, who are you allowed to uh, put uh, some shields on. And the thing is that as a, as a you know, playing just as a raider, you can, you can totally shield your allies uh, just like that. Also, you can shield like... Uh, your loath, your loath playing allies that have, uh, you know, transformed into the monster form. Mm -hmm. You can also shield Ginebra while she's, you know, in the cougar form. Yep. You can, as you, uh, we already showcased, you can definitely shield Cortez. You can definitely shield the grunt that has been bewitched by uh, Yune. Mm -hmm. And you can also shield, like, the protector from uh, Fistful of Sun. And you can also shield this, the Schneider... Uh, uh, drone and also the Schneider that appears, you know, in the uh, Hades betrayal campaign when he's being like abducted and he's like, you know, like uh, he keeps changing sides. You know, remember that mission? So we can totally, totally hear. <laughs> so yeah, and when you're when you are on the antagonist side of things, the thing is that you can shield like the many of the bosses, such as Doctor Kuzman in its in his boss version in the InShock map. The grunts for sure, the, all the different kind of elites, snipers, officers, scientists too, and also the Schneider from that mission when it takes your side. Yeah. And and there are, oh man, this is really long list. Yeah, <laughs> so it is. But yeah, maybe I could leave it here. There are even more entities mm -hmm. that you can totally uh, shield when it comes to antagonists, but you can name it like beholders, like the guardians. From the first protector mission on the on the uh, alien myths campaign, even marmalade, mm. you know, even the final boss <laughs> marmalade, you can totally shield him. Really? So yeah, it's kind of crazy. So yeah. Wow, I can't believe that. Um, so Salt Lords, a uh, question: Can you use the shield on wounded allies? 
Yeah, the thing, yes, you can totally uh, shield uh, wounded allies. Mm. But the thing is that there's there's one uh, special catch though. What if I, being Soma, I'm wounded? If if it is me who gets wounded, actually, like the ability cancels and all the shields that that I had put on my allies, they banished all at once. So if someone gets uh, uh, you know, like down, someone gets uh, wounded, I can still protect him or her as she or, she or he recovers. But if it's me who gets wounded, then things are worse, you know, it's like everything cancels. But if I had the pain bar, the pain bar uh, filled up, I still get the, uh, the buff for my weapon, so it's not that bad. Okay, so uh, Matt Nathan. Uh, you said every shield has 50 health. How much damage can the shields take until Soma dies? Yeah, the th uh, you can you can uh, actually modify the um, that amount by using different talents. And the thing is that uh, I think I, I don't remember if I have the concrete the one the one uh, number, but it's it's kind of like around. 150 or 2000 health points or you know if and that means that's like getting around like four shields broken fully cool. something like that maybe it's, it's a bit more but as i told you there's like some uh, modifiers that you can put in there also like in, as 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 you can also modify like the uh, amount of health points that each of the uh, shields has mm -hmm. it's not always the same amount of shields that you can endure and you know until you die okay so, uh, Chris Pituro, uh, we actually oh. answered this, this question uh, about uh, shielding loads and uh, 40 hours twerkaholic will grapple in Stakil shielded allies. Hmm. We we'll grapple in Stakil shielded allies. Yes, grapple is still is still in Stakil's shielded allies. Well, the thing, yeah, you may, you may, take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the thing is that uh, it it automatically breaks the uh, the shield. It's not. It doesn't matter uh, the amount of health that the shield had, and definitely you take the grapple and just get insta kill like that. If you were a soma ally. Cool. Oh yes, uh, just days. Will we will we get more gameplay? You guys started way earlier than I was. I expected yes. Uh, since last time we were talking about the lore and all the, the Soma's origin, and so we wanted to go directly to gameplay because we know you guys want to see how she looks in game, and so mm. and showing all you know the weapons, the cards, and so. Uh, but mm, yeah, when the, 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 the stream is up, you can watch. <laughs> Also, sure, sure. I don't know. We can also like I don't know, like shuffle around here to like maybe the the yes. universe. Did you show the universe? We, we have already? So show uh, some. Yeah, the uh, universe. It's like, it's for example, really cool yeah. out here involving the matriarch of the algae guys, and you know, as you, I, I won't read it out loud for you. <laughs> this this one you you read, but yeah, it's like uh, the whole oh, uh, nice. the whole. Uh, uh, Faith uh, and redemption story of her arc. Yeah, you can totally check it. Check it down Let here. Let me do this. So, uh, mm, can we see some of her emotes and things like that? Yeah, sure. For yeah. Oh, you guys wanted to see the the weapon skin? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, this is it. It looks so amazing. I love it. Yeah, that's the thing. There's like, a, you know, as we told you before, like this whole red something really important for the algae guys so it's <laughs> the skin is uh themed around the same idea yes yeah you can you know display that different weapons over there and also mm. like the basic emotes that are her own emotes here oh you want to see okay that's cool do you remember guys we sh uh, showed a video where, where stephanie was doing this same gesture That's it's right. so cool because it it looks just just the same yeah it's the amazing thing, i can see her doing yeah, it right yeah, i can still see her doing that for sure yeah the thing is that she uh enacted all the different gestures so that she would be this one. you know like uh she would get into character more 
That's so cool that we got to do that with Boo. her. <laughs> I also saw this video of Stephanie, you know, doing this. I love it. She's just taunting people. This is amazing. So, uh... Ah, do you want to read some questions? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, Hokkaido. Uh, if you get control of shielded ground, ground, will shield disappear too? If you get control of shielded ground... Wow. Ah, you mean, I think this is the case of, a, of an antagonist Soma and she has shielded a grunt, right? And then a uh, raider unit comes in and grabs and bewitches the, uh, the grunt. Yeah, in that case, the antagonist Soma shield that she put into the grunt will definitely disappear. If that's the case, it's a really complex case, but yeah. If that's what you were asking, that's that's definitely no question. So uh, you said that, uh, Nathan, and you sh uh, said the shield breaks if your friend gets hit in melee. Does this mean it prevents or lowers lowers to the melee damage? Sorry, I read so bad. Or does it just disappear without doing anything, just charging some cycle of a bit? Yeah, that's a real, real good question. Yeah, the thing with. Uh, the thing with melee is that um, even though the pain bar takes like uh, just a small fraction of the of the whole pain thing, oh wow, <laughs> like 10 health points or so, um, I'm pretty sure the guy that receives the melee damage receives it fully, it, since it's not meant like, it's not meant to be like a, like a melee kind of shield, but I should definitely, uh, I don't know, maybe I can ask that. Maybe can we ask that? It's a really, really uh, a complex question. Or maybe, maybe I can. If not, I I can uh, answer this one on the official forums later. Yeah. Because maybe it's easier. So it's. Let me write down. There's like. Uh, uh, does it take? Does he take uh, like melee damage? Yeah. Let me let me answer later to this kind of uh, more uh, detailed questions. Okay, so let's go with the next one. A walking 2050, uh, uh, does the buff to your weapons decrease over time? No, no, the thing with the buff, the, the buff of, uh, of the uh, Soma, uh, of the, uh, the weapons that you have when you're playing a Soma, it only decreases when you deal damage to someone. You can mm -hmm. shoot, you know, to the ground, you can just miss a shoot you can not shoot at all and it doesn't decrease but i should be telling you though that some we do have some special cards that let you do this kind of stuff uh and why is that the thing is that sometimes you know depending on your play style it can get really interesting to uh for the uh, for your pain bar to behave differently like for instance if you wanna play more like a support kind of character and I really want to just keep shielding people I don't care that much about maximizing my buff or maybe I don't want to get too risky so I'm pretty sure d we do have uh, some talents that let you do that like mm -hmm. it makes uh, the pain bar decrease over time I have the list over here I I'm pretty sure it that was the uh, the uh, the behavior of it. I don't know if it was like some detail, little detail that I'm missing, but just in case I can also uh, write in the forums with um, this one. So Hernan, <laughs> uh, Jeeper Creeper yeah. is asking about the Mac Macarena. The Macarena, yeah. <laughs> that's for a, us it's Macarena. For us it's Macarena, yeah, but uh, that make, rare make emote. How does they pronounce it? Make, I, I make, guess Macarena make, or something like that. Make huh? Like that? Yeah, I, don't okay, know. I don't know. I never thought about it. Yeah, Macarena is a really uh, mysterious dance from Mars. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a Spanish <laughs> song from the 90s or so. Okay. It yes, It became sure. popular worldwide. We were kids and so. Yeah. <laughs> Dale tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. That's... Uh, the, Just like that. It goes like, like that, like... Mm -hmm. For a long time. That's right. Uh, uh, NDAGX. Is there a uh, UI indicator on the shield numbers for allies that have the shield on? Yeah, there's like a different uh, small circles that we have there. So you can uh, 
because as you have already may have already guessed the more shields that I have on the less uh, controllable that it gets for me the, the more riskier that it gets because if I have just a single shield and kind of I'm getting like uh, like uh, I'm getting I'm getting like uh, closer to, my, to the guy that I am protecting. I can I can uh, take a more control kind of risk and and but on the other side uh, if I have a, if I have a, like three shields all at once, it's really hard for me to. If I'm just you know maximizing my pain bar, it's like more risky because maybe I can see two of the guys taking damage, but I don't know about the other one. So maybe he will take damage unexpectedly and then I die. So yeah, there's like a sorry, I got this really long, but no, it's, it's mainly okay. the answer is yes, yes. You it's have okay. like uh, different circles that it lets you know how how many of them do you have activated all at once. Okay, so does the buff to your weapons decrease over time? No, no. We said no unless you're using this talent that I can that I can search for you guys later. But no, just yeah, when I you deal damage. Uh, okay, let's uh, go with the next one. Uh, Midnight Fan, what is the highest bonus damage you can feel by f you can by feeling the bar? Sorry, uh, you you just delayed the question. And how much has the circle to be filled to reach that? Without cards. Wow, that's a really detailed question. I guess we could run a match and and and, and try it. Uh, in my, you know. In my matches that I played, but mm -hmm. you know, like values keep changing, you know, on a daily basis. But it it was more like 1.4 or something like that at your maximum. And the thing is that it's not like um, it's not like uh, uh, extremely strict, uh, lineal kind of um, uh, how do you say? It's not like a lineal progression when it comes to the amount of bar that you have filled and the amount of extra damage that you're dealing. Like for instance, if I just have like a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, pixel that just filled, the bar is just filled, I don't know, like 2% of the bar, I already get like 1.1 of, uh, of damage buff, you know. So it's not like a lineal thing. So it's kind of hard for me now to tell like, where does 1.2 exactly begin and 1.3 or 1.4 because it's not like quarter quarter and quarter mm -hmm. so uh approval on ranger uh will soma's patch day be bringing any other new content or changes i think uh, uh it's mainly about soma she's, she's, she's about really solemn i think it's yeah. bringing soma to the game uh, to you guys as soon as possible so we were not planning to, uh, you know, put any other kind of uh, new content in there. Yes. Just, you know, uh, anyways, we will get uh, soon enough some patch notes for the yes. for the new update. So all the little details, uh, you know, will go in there. Maybe just like a couple of bug fixes or whatever that we may, uh, you know, uh, add in there. But it's not like you will find like a new brand new feature or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's not like a like your next our next uh, roadmap uh, you know milestone this is all about summer okay so let's go with jojo uh, uh he says can we see the cards um are the their cards that specifically in specifically sorry mm. increase the pressure gain when shield allies take damage for the purpose of the catharsis dps can you show that? Yeah, the cathar oh wow, that is really, really complex question. Mm -hmm. Let me let me read it again. Yeah, the, the cards are over here. We can totally show you guys yes, the cards. Yes, you picked, you picked uh, them. Yeah, it's over here. And we can keep scrolling so that you can guys get just go to the more crazy ones. You're reloading faster. When you are closer some of the uh, buffs that, that your cards grind you have to do with, you know, uh, being closer to the guys that you're shielding so it's you know completely different kind of playstyles as you saw in during our uh, our gameplay uh, reveal is like um sometimes you can totally forget about them and go really far away but some of the uh 
of the uh, Soma's uh, cards are more focused into keeping a short distance. So what was the exact question, though? Uh, are there cards that specifically increase the pressure gain when shielded, shielded allies take damage for the purpose of the catharsis? DPS. The pressure gain when uh, ally, ally shields get Let get me damaged. write it down. No, no, don't, don't, don't delay it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, please don't take it. <laughs> so let, let me read it carefully. I don't know, let's increase the pressure gain when shielded. Ah, okay. I think I, I, I now understood. I, I guess what you're asking is that uh, is there any way that I can gain more uh, pain, right? Like we are saying pressure, but we're more about the pain bar, right? It's just so that when, when my ally takes damage, I take like more pain i think is it like that what you're asking uh i don't know i i, I, I know you guys have all these I, questions I like prepare when we are about to start the streaming so you get us like thinking like oh my god how was that I mean, we have asked two members of the team <laughs> to answer you yeah, that's crazy but still uh, i can totally write this one down so i can uh, search for it and yes, and, sure. and get it to you guys over the uh, official forums. So uh, please don't don't erase that one. Like if we could save it because it's a really oh long yeah, question and, and I don't have it right written down. Please. So yeah, and we'll get to you uh, later because it's such a specific question that don't I worry. may be saying something and saying it wrong. Okay. And that would really hurt my feelings. I don't want to <laughs> say anything wrong to you guys. I want to stay truthful. Don't worry. You have uh, done great. And <laughs> you have explained so many things today. So I'm reading the, the last que question, guys. Sure. Uh, from Yes Days, uh, who asked, do you accept character concepts from the fans? Well, as you can see, this beautiful uh, wall is, is full of fan art. Fan art from the fans. Uh, they have done to... to you know to include them on the space Lords community it's a section we do uh, it's weekly so you can send your your fan arts with the hashtag space Lords and we'll include them on on the space Lords community section we we love watching all your talent it, it's it's amazing yeah it's really great the uh, the space Lords community uh, yeah, section I always look and the different fan arts so crazy and this one over here yeah. is just like a little taste though I s I've seen so many already in there it's so a crazy you, you guys can't see all of them because they are way too much <laughs> but uh, the intention is to change some of them with time so you can see all the funnels from from people from artists so I know I said that was the last question but let's uh, let's do the last <laughs> now because uh, I don't want to you know to let someone to do with doubts you know Hmm. So Mednafen is uh, is there uh, is there a cooldown until you can put a shield on the sh on the same teammates after it breaks mm -hmm. or can I for example keep putting shields on a teammates in Marmalade's laser attack? <laughs> That's wow. a really good question. Yeah. yeah, the thing is there's not uh, a cooldown a cooldown uh, as such um, uh, when when it comes to reshielding your allies. The, the thing though is that, uh, let me explain myself, myself more detailed here because it's, maybe I can, uh, I don't want to um, uh, confuse you guys. When it, let's say again, Karen, you're my ally, <laughs> you, you will always I be, uh, it seems so. If I shield Karen here and her shield starts taking damage, the thing is that whenever she loses the shield or whenever I just cancel all my shields mm -hmm. just by holding the button, just, you know, rest just uh, a moment after afterwards i can totally you know uh regenerate the shield on her with mm -hmm. full life you know the 50 uh health points just like that that's there's no cooldown there there's you know you don't have to wait for that it's a really agile kind of thing and i can do it from a distance mm -hmm. but there's one catch though that doesn't mean that when while i'm shielding karen i can you know, refresh the shields, her shield, just by, you know, mm -hmm. uh, renewing no. the shield. You cannot do that. You yes. Either the shield, uh, it, it, it first ha has to break or either you can, you cancel all the shields for it. Yes. But it's not like I can go, you know, right beside you yeah. and keep refreshing the shield so you're basically <laughs> immortal. Yes. It's not like that. 
Yeah. So it's kind of like yes, but not always. It's like That's a <laughs> Rodinger's uh, question, like uh, yeah, yes and no. At yeah, the same it's time. like yes That's and no at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, guys, I think I think that's all. Um, so thank you so much for for being there. Uh, we have tried to answer all your questions. Yeah. Uh, we hope uh, you um, you learn all about Soma. You had fun, and yeah, we'll we'll hope to do our next streaming very soon. And we hope to you to be there. So thank you, Nam. Thank you, Karen. Thank you all, guys. See you soon. Thank you, guys. See you. See ya.